zero to 300K on TikTok in just seven months. Here's how I did it. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of a social media marketing agency transforming online brands into market leaders. Now, this is gonna be a bit of a different one. It's gonna be a bit of a different video because in this video, I wanna share with you some of the strategies that I use, the, the growth hacks that I use uh, to build my audience from literally zero followers on TikTok to build it to 300,000 uh, followers in just seven months. And the really good thing about this video is I understand that some of you may not be on TikTok. I understand that some of you may not even wanna grow an audience online, but I've made sure that these strategies are evergreen because one of the things that I like to say is that at the end of the day, business strategies and marketing strategies are just live lessons applied to business. And the way you navigate the world and the way you behave in your own life manifest in your business. So I'm very excited for these strategies. I think it's gonna be of incredible value for those of you who are looking to build an audience or even those of you who are looking to grow something online. So. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, the first strategy is identifying the blue oceans and identifying the opportunities that lay ahead. So for this point, I just wanna prelude by saying, I didn't start with TikTok, I started with a mission. My mission was to build an audience online and share my message because I truly believe that my lessons and my message can help out other people, especially those looking to build a business online, make money online, because I've been through that process. And especially those looking to start their own social media marketing agency. Now, initially I was gonna take one single route and that route was gonna be the paid ad way. In other words, I was just gonna buy my way in and build my audience that way. But while I was coming up, I realized the importance of earning your way in, right? I'm building a, an organic audience that actually really likes your message. Why? Because I see a lot of people make this mistake. They go the paid ads route straight from the start, right? And the thing is they spend a bunch of money on a message that they don't really know whether it, it lands well, whether it resonates with the market, and whether the, the market actually wants it or needs it, right? Why? Because you haven't actually battle tested it with the market. So I said, I need to earn my way in and I need to start by building my organic audience and adding value to people that way. And so once I had determined that, I went ahead and determined two things. Number one is my strengths and what I'm passionate about, right? So that was about me. And the second one was about my audience. And what I did for this point is I identified the blue oceans. I identified the places where a lot of my competitors, uh, for lack of a better word, um, where a lot of my competitors and people in the space were not tapping into. What were their blind spots? What were their, their weaknesses, right? Where could I build an audience that people haven't really tapped into as of yet? And where can I actually still build an organic audience? At this point, you can't really build an organic audience on Instagram or, or Facebook. And YouTube is not easy, it's not an easy game. And so I determined that my strength was video form, especially short form, because I could grab the attention of people. And I actually really enjoy creating video content. I, I really feel very creative, right? And, and it fuels me. And so that was my strength and my passion. And the blue ocean, the industry that I was gonna tap into was TikTok. Why? Because back in December, which is when I started, right, it was a very untapped market. Not many people were in the market and I knew that I could come in with really good content and add value to people that way and build my audience, right? I'm not saying it was easy back in December. It certainly wasn't. And there's a lot of people that thought it was this extremely easy thing, right? And they didn't end up having success either because they weren't consistent, which I'll talk about in just a bit, or simply because they did not have good enough content. That's really the first strategy that I like you guys to keep in mind that you need to identify the blue oceans. To wrap this point up, the way I like to think about it is David versus Goliath. And there's a really great book by uh, Malcolm Gladwell that I recommend you guys check out on the age old uh, story, but essentially it conveys the importance of playing your own game to beat your competitors. And so what a lot of people do when they're trying to compete with their competitors is they try to do what everyone else is doing, right? If everyone else is doing YouTube, then surely you have to put out a ton of YouTube videos, uh, et cetera, et cetera. If everyone else is doing Instagram, then you need to be on Instagram. But ask yourself, what are they not doing? What are their blind spots? Or simply what opportunities are they passing on? Or simply what are they too tired or too lazy to do that I can do, right? And, and that I can get an edge that way. So that is what I would urge you guys to do to win at your own game and not try to compete with uh, people who are already a hundred steps ahead of you in a platform like YouTube, for example, but find your own blue ocean and beat them there. And then you can translate that success to other platforms, which actually brings me to my second point. The second strategy is have a funnel in place or simply said, just have a strategy, right? Have a plan of attack. And what I mean by this is what I did before I even started my personal brand is I had a very clear plan of attack. I had my steps mapped out, right? And obviously there's a lot of uncertainty that you need to account for, right? And there's a lot of things that have happened that I didn't even know would happen. In fact, to be honest with you guys, I never expected that I would build my audience to 300,000 followers, let alone in seven months, okay? 
Um, but before I started, I had a funnel in place. And so I determined that TikTok, where I could get, where it was kind of like a, a land grab, right? And, and I could get a lot of eyeballs on my content and my message. That was gonna be kind of my top of the funnel. And if you guys know anything about funnels, this will make a lot of sense. But if you don't, I'm still gonna put it on very plain words. So that was gonna be my entry point uh, for people into my brand, into my personality, into my message. And so my content on TikTok is different to my content on YouTube or Instagram, right? Um, why? Because I'm getting as many eyeballs on my profile and I'm trying to appeal to the wider audience of entrepreneurship. Why? Because on TikTok, when it comes to entrepreneurship, I'm one of the top ranked channels so I can dominate that larger and broader market. But when it comes to YouTube, where it's a lot more saturated, right? Uh, when it comes to YouTube, I need to be much more specific and not only because the market is more saturated, but because I want to. I want to educate and really go deep with my followers. The followers that have gone ahead and gone from TikTok to YouTube. Yes, I'm sure there's people watching this video that, uh, that you guys found me through uh, YouTube. And uh, by the way, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you. And thanks a lot for taking the time to do so. But that was my funnel strategy. And then for my YouTube, if people were interested, I could continue moving them down the funnel. But what I want you guys to take away from this second strategy is you need to have a plan of attack. You need to have a strategy as to what you are doing, right? There's a lot of content creators and I do not blame them. Right? And I did this when I started out uh, on YouTube around almost three years ago at this point. You guys can check out some of those videos. Uh, they're very cringe, but I had absolutely no structure, right? I had no clue as to what my niche was. I didn't know what I stood for. I didn't know uh, how I was gonna attract people to my content and how I was gonna stand out from the competition. And so that is the second point. And the final point is consistency. And I'm sure you guys have heard a bunch of people preach this, but honestly, I cannot begin to tell you how important this is, especially if you're looking to build an audience online, but really if you're doing anything in life, right? If you're building a business, you need to be consistent and you need to be patient. And most importantly, you need to show up even when the results are not coming in, even when the results are not immediate. I was quite fortunate to see results pretty fast when it, come, when it came to TikTok. But I think for the first month, I wasn't really gaining any traction. I've actually seen a lot more people gain way more traction right from the back. But I just stayed consistent and I made a promise to myself that I would, you know, come hell high water, I was gonna upload two videos a day on TikTok, right? And so even when I felt tired, even when I didn't feel like it, I was gonna stay consistent, right? And, and I was gonna put in the work and I was gonna record those two TikTok videos come hell or high water. And that is what I will tell you guys as a final note and as a, the final strategy is I will tell you that when it comes to building your audience, you need to find your message. And it takes a while to find your message. It takes a while for things to really start showing results because it actually takes a while to see what is resonating with your audience. And so building an audience and, and creating content online is this very iterative process, right? The first type of content that you put out is not gonna be the type of content that's gonna make you viral, right? It could but it's probably not gonna happen. And it's not gonna be the type of content that's gonna change lives. But you can only get to that content once you've actually been uh, in the process, right? Once you've actually put in the work. And I just wanna show you guys real quick, you know, here's my uh, my first couple of, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, my, my first couple of YouTube videos, right? I had really no clue as to what I was doing. Um, and the other mistake that I, I made there was that I was not consistent, right? And so it was very hard for me to get traction because I, I didn't know what my message was, right? I didn't have enough time and I didn't put enough content out to truly see what resonates with my audience and what doesn't. What my audience wants to see more of and what they do not want to see more of, right? Um, and so that is where I would say, honestly, looking back at these videos, if I'd probably stayed consistent those two years back, I probably would be at 100K or 200K as subs on YouTube, right? Um, so that's, that's what I want you guys to take away from this video as a final point is consistency is key, right? And this, it's not this actionable strategy. I cannot give you a template or a script, but it just comes down to the mindset. Mindset and execution clouds and fucking dirt, mother. And it comes down to committing to something every single day, committing to mastery. So that is the final strategy that helped me go from zero to 300K on TikTok in just seven months. As a final note, can you still be successful on TikTok? The answer is yes. Is it as easy as it once was, um, maybe back in December? Probably not, right? And I'm, I don't know when you're watching this video, um, but it probably gets harder and harder. Why? Because uh, social media platforms reward those initial players because it, it wants to reward people with attraction and followers and views because it wants to attract people. And so that is very appealing to creators. But once they've got an audience, then obviously organic traffic goes down and then uh, people need to pay to play, right? But it's still very possible to be successful on TikTok as long as you put out good content, you know your niche, you understand your message, 
and finally you are persistent and you're consistent and you have and finally you have a funnel and a plan of attack in place diversify into different platforms like you know youtube or instagram then you can definitely be successful with tiktok still uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and drop a big thumbs up i really appreciate it this video is taking my editor and myself a lot of time to put together so i really appreciate it also leave them alone in comments any questions you may have on this video and be sure to check those out and uh, the final thing is if you haven't checked out the free private mentor community the client closures it's an incredible community full of like many people looking to scale their agency level up in life and master this social media this online world so if you want to check that out go ahead and check out the link in the description also if you want to see more videos on entrepreneurship and social media marketing go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel there's so much content coming out and uh, you're not going to want to miss that and as always guys hope everything's going well in your journey and i will see you in the next one peace